New tonight, the only color they loved was green, the color of money. Of course, dramatic words from federal prosecutors as they try to convince the jury in the Kilpatrick corruption case to convict. 7 Action News uh, investigator Heather Catalo has been inside that courtroom from day one and joins us live. And Heather, how did the government wind down five months of complicated testimony to one concise closing argument? Well, that had to be hard to do, but it was actually very well choreographed, bringing in wiretaps and those secret FBI videos. The question now is, will it be enough for the jury to connect the dots? Hey, you have a good one. No comment from Kwame Kilpatrick on Kilpatrick Incorporated, the new name federal prosecutors gave to what they called Kilpatrick's private profit machine. During closing arguments in the Kilpatrick corruption trial, Assistant U.S. Attorney Michael Bellotta told the jury Detroit's former mayor robbed the people of their right to a fair and honest government, flashing images of cash on a huge screen and reminding the jury about ritzy vacations Kilpatrick's nonprofit once funded. Bellotta pointed out all of the money that poured into Kilpatrick's accounts while he was mayor. Bellotta even played once again the clip from a Channel 7 2001 debate where he says Kilpatrick lied to the voters. We haven't used one penny, one penny of the civic fund in this campaign because it's not allowed by law. The federal prosecutor asked the jury to convict the former mayor, his father Bernard Kilpatrick, and his friend Bobby Ferguson, saying there was a clear pattern of criminal activity, including bribery and extortion throughout Kilpatrick's time in office. Bellotta walked the packed courtroom back through dozens of witnesses and highlighted key text messages, telling them Ferguson's one-time text that said, no deal without me, summed up the greed of Kilpatrick Incorporated. He called Ferguson Kilpatrick Incorporated's 83 Three million dollar man because those were his revenues in city contracts during the Kilpatrick administration. And Bellotta showed the jury again secret video recordings of Bernard Kilpatrick as he was taped saying he did not want to take money from government witness James Rosendahl in a public restaurant. The defense will get their final word on all of it tomorrow. Wait that for the closing argument. There were a few text messages and photographs that at times seemed a bit out of context compared to how they were originally presented to the jury. We'll see what the defense does with that in the days to come. And now, due to a schedule change, it looks like this case won't be in the jury's hands until Thursday. Reporting live at the federal courthouse in downtown Detroit, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Now one or the other, the end is in sight. Thanks, Heather. We